you're so... I want... Tell me about your journey. All right, what up, everybody? Welcome to Fresh Talk. We're chilling. A segment I like to call Who That? And on today's segment, we have Lena Della Dome. Yeah, Who That? Elena Della Dona is an American professional basketball player for the Washington Mystics. In 2013, she was drafted second pick by the Chicago Skies. She has a great dame around six feet tall. She turned her side hustle to a legitimate business, and she's the first female to join the 50 40 90 club. For professional career, she's a WNBA champion, two-time MVP, six-time All-Star. She's a Rookie of the Year, scoring champion, and peak performer. She signed multiple endorsement deals with different companies, including Nike, Dewpoint, Octagon, and more. She was in the 2020 Be Like Mike Gatorade commercial, and she currently has a net worth of around $1.4 million. Elena Deladon's parents provided her a personal trainer in the second grade. She was on the high school varsity as a basketball player by the eighth grade, already receiving college scholarship offers. Elena Deladon was born September 5th, 1989 in Wilmington, Delaware, to Ernest Deladon, 6'6", and Mother Joan Deladon at 6'2". Needless to say, her childhood struggles was coming to terms with her unusual height. By the time she was in eighth grade, she was already six feet tall. Helping her to come to terms was her sister Lizzie, who was born deafblind and unable to speak with autism. Lizzie doesn't know that I play basketball. That's because Lizzie has never seen Elena's face or heard her voice. She's deaf, she's blind. She was born with cerebral palsy, autism. So Lizzie has a very different world. And for college, Elena was one of the most scouted players since Candace Parker. She had a scholarship to go to UConn, but ultimately decided to stay at Delaware, where she was in physical reach of her sister, Lizzie. But after only 48 hours on campus, Deladon left UConn in the middle of the night without telling anyone. You're like, come on, this is a joke. <laughs> There's no way that this happened. She received the All Academic, she was a Scholar Athlete of the Year, All First Team, a Honda Sports Award winner. She averaged 26.7 points a game, dropped a couple 50 pieces. She averaged 48% from the field and 92% from the free throw. When I got there, I realized that family was far more important than championships or anything else. So I decided to come back home and figure things out and pick here. <laughs> and as far as her personal life, she also has an older brother, Gene, who played football for Duke in Tennessee. And in 2008, she was diagnosed with Lyme disease after being bitten by an infected tick. As a result of this condition, she also set out the 2020 season. She's won gold in the Olympics, but she's also the global ambassador of the Special Olympics. She announced her engagement to longtime girlfriend Amanda Clifton in 2016 in the issue of Vogue. And in 2017, they tied the knot and got married. We did it in Vogue, which was pretty cool to say. <laughs> My biggest thing about it was not wanting it to be this huge coming out. I just wanted it to be, yeah, I'm in love, and Amanda and I have a beautiful relationship, and just see us for that. Nice show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit a comment down below. Maybe who you want to see next? It's Fridge Talk. We out.